What is up, everybody? It's Super Verse Seaver today, and we're going to delve into the Wolverine story leaks. The whole story has leaked with the leaks that happened yesterday. Like I said before, if my video yesterday did very well, I was going to do a continuation, talk about the story. And here I am providing the story leak. So we're going to go over the story as well. If you don't want to be spoiled for this game, I suggest you click off the video right now. But I gave you enough amount of time, so people who want to uh, see the list of the story, stay tuned. Here we go. So, Insomniac's Wolverine full plot leak. The characters are Logan and Jean become uneasy allies against Mr. Sinister and his team of mercenaries. Their partnership evolves into love and their quest for revenge becomes a heroic journey to save innocent mutants threatened by Sinister and Team X. So apparently they have a, a love, in, well Jean has a love interest for Wolverine in this game. Which, I mean, we've seen before in the past, but it's like, I'm, I'm just shocked there's like no Cyclops to, to come in between this. Like there's no Cyclops in the game. But we do know there's a future X-Men game in the future, so we might see Cyclops in that one, so no Cyclops. In this global pop and action thriller, our protagonists will face a cast of dangerous foes, including the Reavers, who are cybernetic mercenaries, The Hand, a shadowy occult organization of supernatural warriors, and their leader, Deathstrike, a cybernetic enhanced assassin. Also, she was like the, the warrior who was in um, X-Men 2, the original Fox X-Men 2 movie. Omega Red, he hasn't been shown in any um in any live action movie yet, but he is the guy with the whips in this picture right here. So people who don't know who that is. Um Mystique, a shapeshifter and tactical specialist. Uh you know who Mystique is. Sabretooth. Which, in some iterations, Sabretooth is his brother, so we don't really know yet if that's going to be his brother in the actual game or not, so. And Mr. Sinister, a powerful mutant that turned Logan into the living weapon. Okay, so yeah, the, the origins have changed because at one point that was um, Stryker who made him into the Weapon X, or what this is supposed to be, but now it's Mr. Sinister, it seems like. But the story is that Wolverine breaks free of his restraints and fights his way out of Weapon X. <clears throat> Wolverine wakes up a strapped to a machine and set a lab, unsure of where he is or what is happening. Sinister and Shadowy figure in the shadow and charge of the operation assures Wolverine everything is fine. Sinister firstly bone finds adamantium to Wolverine's skeleton. The trauma breaks his mind into the wilderness. Lost, alone, and confused, he stumbles across the blizzard and the wilderness until both overtake him. So, you know, this is not this, this isn't anything new. It's just the fact that the Mister Sinister is behind this stuff is the is the new origins now of this game. Logan and the Old Man. Wolverine is found by Frank, an old man with a dark past living in a remote cabin. Wolverine doesn't know who he is. Frank names him Logan after someone he once knew. Frank and Logan grow close to the, enough, close through the winter as Logan regains a sense of who he is and what he can do. Frank is ashamed of his own past and wishes he could escape. What type of past does he have so that he's so, such ashamed of? I'm curious about that one. He imparts to Logan a vital lesson. Without a past, Logan is free to make his own future. Can't outrun the past. Come spring, Logan's past catches up with him. His former teammates, Omega Red, Sabretooth, Mystique, and Deathstrike, track Logan to the cabin. Omega, wow. <laughs> well, there you go. There's definitely going to be some death in this game because Omega kills Frank and Cold Blood, the person he just met through his, like, I guess, new journey of being free from Weapon X. Sabretooth seemingly kills Logan against Sinister's orders. Logan recovers from his death and burns. Okay, so Logan is pretty much near death. He's like he's on the verge of dying. And then he recovers, I guess as they leave or something. And buries Frank. He collects dog tags belonging to Frank's Logan from long ago. Something to remember him by. Okay, so that's why he probably has the Logan tags on him instead of him actually being in the war this time so because in the original movies he was in the war or something like that logan vows to hunt down the people who killed frank and make them pay and nothing will stand in his way the hunt for omega red logan tracks omega red to his facility in magadan russia so they're going to different locations which is interesting omega red isn't there they're Though he he was recently, but Logan finds Cyborg Reavers fitting a woman into a power dampening device. Logan attacks, giving her a chance to break out the device. Jean Grey. 
I guess this is the woman that was in the device. Reavers dispense with Logan and the woman head to a local bar to decompress. The woman is Jean Grey, a mutant telepath from New York. Team X kidnapped Jean from her home several years ago, killing her family in the process. She lived on the run ever since. Oh, so this is before, well, this is before the X-Men. Okay, so I like how they're doing this. She got kidnapped, and she's been on the run, but she hasn't joined the X-Men yet. This is pre-X-Men, okay. So, was there, so there's no Cyclones to be mad about this, okay, this, this union that they have. Okay, but continuing on, until Omega Red finally caught up up to her over a week ago, Jean is done running. She wants Omega Red to pay, but the dampener limits her power. Logan makes her a deal, help him find Omega Red, and she can come with him. Call in the blast, Logan experiences a living memory, discovering he worked for Sinister and was part of Team X. He helped kidnap mutants who could potentially become the Omega. So they were kidnapping different mutants. That's kind of messed up. Uh, who could potentially become the Omega, an ultimate weapon that will give Sinister control of the world and future of mankind, a mutant kind. Logan wakes to find Magadan in ruins and Jean having fled. No wonder Sinister won her. Jean clearly has Omega potential. Logan hunts Omega Red through the ruins and finally gets vengeance for Frank. Lady Deathstrike in the hand. Logan has the Tokyo, which... This was in a Wolverine live-action movie where he has a big focus on Tokyo or Japan in general. Logan has a Tokyo where Deathstrike has operated for decades. Deathstrike doubles as a member of Team X and the leader of the Hand, an ancient order of warriors who use blood magic to fuel their supernatural powers. Once again, I'm not a big comics guy, but this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> like, I just know Deathstrike from the, the, the Wolverine movie, like the actual... Wolverine uh, X-Men 2 movie but this looks a lot cooler than that origin of Shadow that movie using the hand Deathstrike continues to kidnap mutants for Sinister dampening their powers before shipping them out to Japan it's kind of messed up like they don't feel bad for kidnapping mutants and stuff even though they are mutants <laughs> I guess they don't Japan is Deathstrike's domain she's waiting for Logan when he arrives Logan picks up his gene sent in Tokyo and tracks her down Jean doesn't know she's an Omega candidate Sinister won't stop until he has her Logan won't let that happen to anyone else. Logan tries to talk Jean into giving up, going into hiding, and leaving the vengeance to him. But Jean has a great lead on, just, on Deathstrike. Plus, she's proven how powerful she is. Logan and Jean team up to find Deathstrike and then maybe Sinister's entire operation. Logan and Jean drive into the hand out of Tokyo and track Deathstrike to a, fort a fortress in the north of Japan. They bond during their journey, finally open up to one another. Jean doesn't know what comes next for her. She has no home to return to. She's seen how the hand preys on mutants, forcing them to live in fear. Mutants need help. And that's probably where we get the X-Men, uh, Charles Xavier in the future game. Because he's going to be that help that they need. Just, just throwing it out there. That makes the most sense. Jean can help individual mutants that she comes across, but isn't enough. One thing remains clear to Jean, she despises Team X and everything they've done to mutants and to her. Logan's pursuit of Deathstrike unearths more buried memories. He learns that a sinister survival weapon, he was instrumental in bringing the hand to heal. In the process, Logan brutally maimed a teammate, Yuriko, who would become Deathstrike. Okay, so that's how we got the Deathstrike origin. Logan keeps his unearthed memories secret from Jean. As they grow closer, he's afraid... What she'll think if she learns he was once part of Team X. Also, she doesn't know that, okay? Logan and Deathstrike finally face off in her fortress. Both desperate for vengeance, only Logan walks away satisfied. So now we focus on Mystique and the Ravers. Logan and Jean have grown close in Japan and chose to stay together. Neither will admit it, but they are both starting to fall in love with each other. Logan's uncovered memories lead them to the island, island national of Matterpore, where Mystique oversees the production of Reavers, the kidnapping of mutants, and other mysterious projects to fuel Sinister's operation. Logan and Jean track down Mystique's ex-wife, Tiger Tiger. So apparently they make Mystique LGBT in this um in this game. Once again, I only know Mystique from the TV shows, the cartoon TV shows, and the movie, and she was always seen to appear like you know straight, but apparently they made her. LGBT, I mean, she can shapeshift, so I guess that would be, I guess she can go whatever, but, you know, just an interesting change they did with this character, or maybe she's like that in the comics, I don't know. 
I just I knew do I do know her and Wolverine have a kid, which um we know about Nightcrawler from um the other one, the demon looking guy with the blue skin, but I don't know, that's an interesting take right here, but let's let's keep going. Who helps a secret village of mutants stay off Mystique's radar? Logan and Jean find peace in his joyful mutant community. They dare to envision a future together in places like this once their hunt for Team X is over. Tiger gives Logan intel to find Mystique, but it leads to an ambush. Logan is nearly killed as he fights his way through Reavers, escaping on a riverfront. Logan realizes he's been set up by Tiger and she can't be trusted. He returns to the village, so she set him up. That's dirty. <laughs> He returns to the village where he and Jean confront Tiger. Tiger, what type of name is that? Why is it Tiger just two times? That's a dumb name, but whatever. She and Mystique still works together, following some mutants of the village to, and others to Sinister. They decide who lives and who dies. The mutants throw Tiger, Tiger. I'm not going to keep saying Tiger, Tiger. <laughs> this sounds stupid. The mutants throw Tiger out of the village. Logan and Jean leaves the village to track down Mystique on their own. Logan and Jean are covered Mystique is preparing a new shipment of kidnapped mutants to Sinister. Jean wants to rescue the mutants, but Logan wants to take down Mystique. As close as they've become, they're still very different people, and their goals have grown in different directions, and neither is willing to budge. Logan and Jean have a fallen out and split up. I mean, the story is okay so far. Like, it's not like... I mean, it's okay. I'm not going to have any complaints about it so far. Jean goes to rescue the kidnapped mutants alone. She infiltrates the shipment and frees the mutants, rescuing them from the Reavers. Jean and the mutants head back to the village. Meanwhile, Logan finds Tiger, knowing that setting himself out as bait will lead Mystique to him. He's right, and Logan confronts Mystique and Tiger with what they've done to Madripoor. Logan and Mystique finally face off, but their battle is interrupted when a giant alpha sentinel descends on Madripoor. So they got sentinels in this game now, too? Wow. Head for the mutant village. The Sentinels are Sinister's secret army designed to collect mutants from Team X isn't enough. It's kind of like they just mix a lot of his, a lot of other people's storyline with him. Because now he has Sentinels. I don't remember him having Sentinels before in a, in a TV show, but that's, once again, I haven't seen a TV show since like the 90s. Disappointed in the Mystique's failure to capture Jean, Sinister has sent the Sentinels to collect her in the mutant village. Japan, Jean defends the village, but it's overcome. Yeah, of course. Like, she's strong, but my, my God, I think Jean can probably take on Sentinels, to be honest. All those she can't take on Sentinels, but she probably can. She's like one of the strongest mutants. But nonetheless, let's continue. Logan arrives in town to see uh, Jean and the village is taken. He leaves onto the Alpha Sentinels back as it flies off, knowing it's the only way to save Jean. Logan arrives the Alpha Sentinels over the Pacific Ocean. Once it's above land, he tries to get inside to save Jean. The Sentinels swat Logan off. Trapping him in the remote Canadian wilderness. There he is familiar in that Logan's fractured memories. He follows his senses to find a wall city hidden in the forest, Neverland. Logan infiltrates the city and fights his way to the Alpha Sentinel, looking for Jane, but she's already disappeared into the city. Logan is saved by Forge and brought to a secret safe house hidden inside the city's walls. Sabretooth pulls Jean out of process to make sure she doesn't reach Sinister. He wants to be the Omega. Logan tracks Jean through Neverland and finds Sabretooth. They face off again. Jean joins Logan to help him defeat Sabretooth for good. Jean and Logan share a joyful reunion, finally expressing a love for one each other, one another. Neverland burns to the ground, drawn out by Sabretooth's death. Sinister is convinced Jean is the Omega Cannon and he won it for so long. Sinister mobilizes his entire army of Sentinels against Forge resistance, but chose to personally handle Logan and Jean. Gene sacrifices. Gene sacrifice. Sinister knows Logan better than anyone, even how to kill him. Unable to stand by and watch Sinister murder Logan, Gene offers to willingly submit to augmentation on the condition that the Sinister set Logan and every mutant free. Sinister agrees, opening the gates of Neverland and letting the mutants leave. With Forge and other mutants' safety outside Neverland's walls, Logan charges back in to save Gene. He takes on the Alpha Sentinel alone in a brutal fight, finally topping the Metal Giant. His path is now clear. Logan storms Weapon X facility. Sinister has completed Jean's augmentation by joining their minds together. He and Jean are the Omega. Sinister uses the combined power to trap Logan in an arena built from his psychic trauma. 
Gene witnesses all of Logan's past atrocities, but Sinister says it's the best for last. It was Logan who kills Gene's parents. Betrayed and raged and heartbroken, Gene rips her mind away from Sinister's, but she can't trust Logan anymore. Sinister makes Logan an offer. He can erase Gene's memory of Logan's atrocities and she'll love Logan again. In addition, he can use their combined power to restore all of Logan's lost memories. All Logan must do is just walk away. Sinister will reestablish the metal link with Gene and Logan will have everything he wants. Logan chooses to kill Sinister, saving Gene and other mutants, fully aware that he has lost Gene's love. Logan and Gene walk out of the facility, free but split apart for good. Logan leaves Gene with Forge and the mutants. Gene wants to build a better future for mutant kind. Logan makes a heroic sacrifice to save the mutants but doesn't feel like he deserved a place with them. So that kind of sounds like where we get the X-Men, um being built but I wonder what set up they're going to, I'm going to set up Charles Xavier going to use Gene to do it though so set up this in this universe right here Logan now lives alone in a remote cabin having sacrificed his future with Gene to save her from Sinister he's become like the old man who saved him a man with a hundred past but in his isolation trying to be better meanwhile in the future back in Sinister's inner sanctum and weapon X Gene has found ancient scrolls revealing the real reason Sinister was searching for the Omega Apocalypse is coming. <laughs> but like I should play the X Men theme song at this point, but apparently they're gonna bring an Apocalypse. He's gonna be the next big baddie in this Wolverine as an X Men franchise right here. So the game is a third person action thriller, wild linear and story driven. Thirty four main missions. 16 hours of playtime and has a co-op survival mode as well so i mean it sounds pretty cool i mean the story sounds decent actually we won't see how it is until we actually play the game but i mean it sounds pretty interesting to me so far how long is this right now this is 16 minutes long geez <laughs> so i'm liking the story so far i mean so far it looks it looks sounds pretty great like there's a few hiccups i have with it but once again, I mean, it looks, it sounds like a great story, but I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this leaked spoiler, um, leaked story spoiler leak right here. If you like what you're hearing so far, if you dislike it, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video. It's always thanks for watching and peace.